appreciate it. So back at you, all of you, back at East Alabama. Yeah, you take all that home with you and you put it in a tub and turn the water on and, and, uh, and soak in it. Uh, <laughs> doesn't that sound relaxing to soak in your own noises? <laughs> I like soaking in a tub, and I wanted to talk about it, so I thought that would be a good way to... It's one of my pleasures in life, is uh, to take a bath. I have many pleasures, and everyone should have many pleasures. There's lots of things I enjoy doing, but today, it's the bath I'd like to speak about. Um, oh, it's a wonderful invention, whoever invented it. I'm pretty sure it's the Romans. Um, <laughs> because you hear about the Roman baths, so that's what they're known for, is the, the baths that the Romans would take, because they would roam and then come back. <laughs> I don't know much about anything, but, um, but I know that the Romans had big, you'd, you'd see pictures of, you know, in the photographs of the, uh, the wonderful marble that they would soak in, the big marble Roman baths. And, uh, and I don't know what happened, but uh, time passed between the Romans and then the 1950s, uh, and I don't know how many, many, many years I know between, and uh, I didn't take philosophy, so I don't know how many, but... Um, <laughs> Anyway, homeschoolers, the point is, somewhere <laughs> along the line, we lost good bathtubs because there were big, big bathtubs in, that the Romans would soak in. And then in the 50s, um, if you, I've had many apartments where I've had these bathtubs. I don't know if you still know. One. The bathtubs in the 50s were about 12, like a roast pan, like, a, ro <laughs> like a, about 12 inches deep and about four, maybe four feet long because it was in the 50s, they would not wash their entire bodies. They would be just, you'd get in and just from the waist down, your legs and your waist down would be clean and then you'd go into the kitchen with that spray gun from the sink and you would, <laughs> at least that's how my parents did it. But that's, uh, <laughs> Now when I take a bath, I like to, oh, I like a big tub. I like a, a large tub and I pour the Epsom salts in, which pulls all my toxins out. And then I get out and I pour a vodka, which puts the toxins right back in. <laughs> because I'm clean of the toxins, so I have room for the new toxins entering. <laughs> I like to take a bath and it's nice to take a bath with someone. It, it sounds like a good idea, but you have to plan ahead for that. Because if somebody walks in and goes, oh, that looks nice, let me get in. You're like, wait, let me drain water. You can't just get in because then the water overflows. Hold on, mama, just let me, a second. Uh, um, and then once I'm clean with my bath, I like to get dirty with my dancing.